What's Shinmu? If you want to find out, you can play this game because it explains to you what Shinmu is. It's essentially a demo disc for the Japanese version of Shinmu. And I'm not sure if this was released before or after the release of Shinmu, probably before. Correct me if I'm wrong. And we all know Shinmu 3 is coming out. So I want to go through all of my North American release games. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get to Shinmu before Shinmu 3 gets, gets out. So uh, I found a loophole. I can talk about the Japanese version of Shinmu and get that covered. So that's cool. I figured I'd go ahead and get the Shinmu games knocked out. So cool deal. What's Shinmu? Let's look into this. All right, what's Shinmu? There's no real animatics, it's just uh, straight menu. Now, I remember hearing something about this where you save this guy, so I wanna look for this guy. All right, it's just Japanese, can't make anything out of anything. That's Tom, the hot dog vendor. I think Tom went to school with Ryu or something. Okay, good luck! He sounded really funny there for a second. I was trying to turn it up. So you can look with the analog stick. There's a little Sega logo, that's cool. The right trigger, if you hold it down, you can do a first person view. The left trigger, you can run. And you can aim your character as you run with the left and right uh, on the D-pad. That's the tomato store. I don't think the tomato store is open, but in the main game, it's pretty cool because you can go in there and do raffles and try to win prizes. Looks like they're selling meat over there. There's an arcade in this game, and you can go to the arcade. Uh, I think the arcade has got to be down this way. Oh, this is a restricted barrier because this is not the full game. That's the travel agency. There's problems with that place when you play the game. I've played Shinmu a few times. That's Nozomi. That is Ryo Hazuki's girlfriend, essentially. Now, there's product placement in this game. In the regular version of Shinmu, there is no Coke machine. It's some other machine. And you can get coffee drinks, I think, in the... Um... <laughs> this is so crazy that I'm, I'm buying a Coke and a Sprite with Ryu. That's crazy. All of these are bad. I'm gonna get him drunk on some orange Fanta. That's his brand of choice. That's his go-to drink. He's like me, he needs to have a moment to savor it. Orange Fanta is Rio's jam. I want a bomber jacket like his because my father had a bomber jacket. All right. There's little pachinko machines and stuff in the second version, but in the first version, there is an arcade, and you're able to visit it in this demo game, but I can't seem to find it at the moment. Yeah, all of these people are just like non-characters, like this guy, he won't really help you. He's like, whatever, you know. Here's the arcade, I found it. You arcade. I'm able to go into it. This is the best part of the demo, and this is probably what sold a lot of cop. Well, actually, Shinmu didn't sell that well because it was supposed to be a system seller, and um, there was too much competition in the market PS2, DVDs, all that stuff. 
I really like darts, but there's Space Harrier. Uh, might as well for, you know, demonstration purposes do Space Harrier because it will let you play it. If I can get to it, I'm like walking right next to it. The controls in Shinmu are have been criticized, and it would be accurate to say that um, Shinmu is kind of really bad with how, how to move the character. I can see how this is not the game for everybody, but uh, it's a very ambitious game. I was under the impression that I could play Space Harrier, but apparently I'm able to perhaps play these cute quick time events. It's not highlighted, but you can do Excite QTE2, apparently. Why is he kneeling? He never kneels in that in the real game. What did I do? This is interesting. Kneeling? You can't kneel in Shenmue. I, I would have kneel, knelt all the time if I could have, but uh... Yeah, here's a darts and... You can totally play darts, I believe, but there's a... Hang on? Are you able to play hang on in the demo? Uh, come on, now I'm pushing A. Nothing. Well, I thought I could play a different game, but in the... Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can play darts, that's for sure. A lot of it is timing because you're not actually controlling his hand. That was really far off. Hmm. This game is addicting. Uh, there are other games that are just as addictive. Like I said, the pachinko games in Shinmu 2. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got information about that guy. I swear I could play a different game here. Oh, that's cool. They got a little um, poster of Flicky. I like Flicky. I think that poster of Flicky is really cool. I like Flicky. It's a hard game. It's a very hard game. Uh, you know, but it's it's old school arcade at its finest. It's, it's a classic. Flicky is uh, kind of a um, stock game, they throw it in with those, um, you know, Genesis consoles with the built-in games, you know, they throw those games in there a lot, so. Um, am I able to gamble? You gotta be kidding me, this is crazy. I, I remember playing one of the arcade games, and I apologize for that, you guys. Yeah, so you're able to do some crummy gambling. Okay, you just hit bet, right? And then start? Okay. Oh. <laughs> you know, that's false advertising because in the full game, you were able to play um, different games because I never saw that slot machine in the first Shinu. Well, that was a bust. Okay, so you're supposed to find this guy that is that uh, business guy and... Man, I, I will step on your face. Ryo Hazuki, you don't have an excuse. What? Hey, what, what does that dog look like? Because, like, I 
I saw a dog. Look at that. That is a scraggly looking dog. Somebody give that dog some dog food, man. Oh my gosh. Sorry, doggy. Man. Man. Oh my goodness. I, I like to explore environments when I'm playing video games. And this is a good a good video game to do that. I think Shenmue 2 is a little bit better when it comes to exploring the game environment. Maybe story-wise, this is the better game, perhaps. But um, Shenmue, is, Shenmue is great, you know? Tom, Tom is just too cool. He's got the aviator glasses. Look at that guy just walking around. He's just he, he's just walking away. He's bebopping around. And everybody else is just conservative squares. And here he is living his life. Selling hot dogs and being ridiculous. Don't don't you know I eat grass? Oh, that was a quick time event and I missed it. I missed that one too. I was too slow. That'll learn them how to eat grass. Ah, oh, I missed it. Because I'm Ryu flipping Hazuki. Nobody messes with Ryo Hazuki. Yeah. Oh, hey, Nozomi. What's up, Nozomi? Come here. Come here, Nozomi. Hey, it's been a while. It's been a while, girl. Hey, I love your sweater. Yeah, your sweater is off the chain, girl. Yo, Nozomi. That, that sweater is just so becoming. And I just, I've been having feelings. I don't know. I've just been looking at that, uh, looking at that little dress of yours and, and your little flower job and your little penny loafers. Dang, girl. Oh, yeah, this is my side chick. Yeah, I work at the gas station. Gas station people are the worst. I was having a conversation about that. Like, they're always like, their emotions are at the surface because they're all all strung out on stuff, and they're all there's always someone holding up a line with a scratch ticket. Gas station people are the worst. I I will never work for a gas station. Re remember when I was talking about mom jeans and pantsuits? Well, you know, feminism is real. They're all feminists. They're all covert. Hey, you know Rio drinks that drink. You know he drinks that drink. Hey man, put your yin up in there. Yin, yin, yin it up. You know this is my drink. This is my third can today. You know I step to the side when I drink my drink. Oh man, I got some on my shirt. That's an ice cold can of Fanta orange. You know they put a little tangerine in there. I can't see nothing, it's just dark. Anyway, you're supposed to find this <laughs> business suit guy and <laughs> it's too dark for me to even see right now. And uh, Shinmu is awesome, like I said. It kind of doesn't need a demo disc, but you know, it, this is this is pretty cool. It just kind of gives you a good idea of what Shinmu is all about. So, Shinmu. I, I guess I'll, um, you know, I guess I'll just end it on this screen because I don't have any sunlight or anything. But, um, yeah, uh, this is kind of the Shinmu demo disc, and it's pretty sweet. And uh, Shinmu has this, you know, charm. It was the first game to do a lot of things, and it was just kind of the precursor to the Yakuza games and stuff like that. And, you know, um, it, it's really cool that there's a third Shinmu coming out, so I'm really happy about that. And, you know, this is a cool little demo disc. It's not the full game, 
um, but it effectively sells you on Fimu, and um, for that, uh, you know, I, I think it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's kind of a gimped game though because the arcade is lame. So um, I like the product placement where you can drink from a Coke machine. You know, that's cool. It kind of you know removes a layer of the um, you know the gap between you and the video game. It kind of personalizes the game, and I like little things, little touches like that. Um, I, I guess because this is a gimped version of Shinmu, um, I don't know, it's different in some ways, but it's gimped in other ways, so I, I, I still will give it a 10 out of a 10 because it's unique and you can play the little um, you know, slot machine, because you can't play the shot slot machine in the other version, so you, if you have both versions, you can you can play a little bit of this and then play Shinmu, which would be pretty cool. Um, Right on. I, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, right on. Uh, 10 out of 10. I would recommend uh, Sh What's Shinmu, Japanese version. Thanks for watching.